and here's another 10 minute painting. There will be a bonus today though. Um, it's not going to be a 10 minute painting. It's going to be two 10 minute paintings. I think we're probably going to go a little bit over our time. So my thoughts on today, this little goat you see up here. <laughs> Wait, let me zoom in on this guy. You gotta see this. All right, so this is a goat. This photo came from Pixabay. I'll post a link later on. Um, but for now, let's just look at that guy. <laughs> so I've been painting adorable little bugs and cute little, you know, things that I think are interesting. And I thought, well, I need a challenge, right? So why don't I paint something that's not cute and try to make it look cute? Okay, I ran across this picture of this goat and look at that guy, look at that thing. I mean, look at those eyes. Look at those weird ears. I mean, I don't know. I know some people think they're cute. I think goats are food, not friends. So anyway, what I did was once I found that picture, I thought, okay, so let's, let's find an interesting treatment for this picture. So I looked up, you know, colorful animals and I found a few examples. Um, and so basically this is kind of the style I want to use with this goat. That's pretty good colors. I want to see which, so I'm kind of deciding which colors I should use for this. Um, and not that I need to follow these exactly. It's just that it's a similar palette to what I have, which is, you know, my basic palette. Um, I kind of like that bear. Yeah, I think that bear might be the winner. Or this horse. This horse looks good too, but I think they're the same colors. Maybe that's why. What do you think? Do you have a vote? Eh. Well, I'll just keep all of them handy as a reference and I'll keep my goat picture here as well. All right, so think that I can start with, now I can probably zoom in a little. Okay, so I think I can start with, I'm wondering if I should start with the background on this guy. I like that turquoise kind of a look in the background, especially when we've got that orange out there already. Um, just because they're great complementary colors. Like the way they look. Well, hey Tina, how's it going? Question for you. How do you feel about goats? Yep, legitimate question. I really want to know. <laughs> I looked up some goat facts today just because, and one of those facts said that goats are not actually picky eaters, contrary to popular stereotype. And I thought, that is the biggest load of crap. So I have seen with my own eyes the damage done by hungry goats. There was this house, these, these people had goats and the, in a rental of course, and then they moved out of the rental and um, took their goats with luckily, but not before the goats ate the window sills, like they ate the wood right off the windows, ate the window sills. Um, they ate the plastic window shades, you know, those like plastic blinds, yep, ate them. Um, carpet, they ate the carpet. They ate the doorknobs. I don't know, there, it was like, I don't know what kind of a doorknob it was that a goat would eat, but it was like wood or something and it was chewed. It was an old house. Yep, goats. I don't, <laughs> they, they actually do, they're kind of garbage dumps. They kind of do eat everything. I don't know where that uh, fun fact about goat came from that says they're picky eaters, because I don't believe it. Not for a second. Okay, I've got some yellow down in the lower right, but some blue up over here just for... should probably pay attention to what I'm doing here. Quit talking, start painting, huh? You like them a lot as long as they don't headbutt me. You know what? It does hurt. Yes. And I think... I think that's just what they do for amusement, is that they just headbutt people or other animals or whatever the hell they want. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and then, uh, see, like, so take a look at this picture up here, this original. Oop, there it is. 
you see how there's the ceiling behind him? So the reason that I picked this picture is because he looks like he just butted you over and is standing over you waiting for you to stand up so he can butt you over again. Let's see, I'm gonna need another color here. So I've got that in my background. I'll leave some of that orange showing through, I like that. Um, I'm gonna go with some blue. Yeah, I'm gonna do some blue. I'm gonna do some green. So he's got these dark areas. Get my reference handy here. He's got like a dark area up here. Some dark fur, that's maybe a little too dark. That's maybe a little too light. Hmm, let's find a happy medium. You know what kind of goats I like? Roasted goat, goat curry. Oh, let's add some different color in there. That's starting to get a little bland. Ooh, nice red, okay. Maybe now I can add a splash of white. Just brighten that up a little. Yeah, maybe a little teal over here. Just wanna keep my colors, you know, varying, interesting. Should probably paint faster. Let's see, we are six minutes in already and I have another painting to do, so. I'll just kind of speed it up here. I'll get back to comments in a minute. Let's get some shapes down. Okay, he's got those weird ears. <laughs> they do, they have weird ears. You can't deny it. They have like hair that goes every direction. And then they have those eyes. Oh, weird, weird, weird eyes. Okay, so back to, let's see, let's do some, it's got a nose in there. One of these days I'm going to take out the hair dryer and blow dry some of the parts of the goat or parts of the painting before I move on. So now I'm down under his little chinny chin chin. Oh, geez. Hang on to your brush. <laughs> I think I'll go a little bit, you know, add some little brightness down in here. And I don't really have much yellow, do I? I don't wanna put yellow there, but. Yeah, whatever colors. See, I'm picking up blues and greens and. So this is coming right in here. He's got that dark, weird eye. And then right down below that eye, he's got some dark colors. Dark face fur. And over on this side. Same thing, he's got dark above his eye dark eye <laughs> in the ear. Okay, so now I've got the dark parts in there. This kind of does attach to that a little bit. No, over here it does as well. Okay. Get some dark parts on the horn there. And then while that's still wet, I really like putting reds in there. So the reds and the blues, because they're both, um, these are both transparent colors. So you, when you layer them like this, they get really dark. And I'll add a couple of dots of red. Oops, not that much, <laughs> a little bit less red. Okay, dots of red on those little antlers. Antlers, horns. Okay, moving on. Um, Tina says, I eat anything. Don't you remember the old cartoons? They were always eating cans. Well, yeah, but you can't really trust cartoons for truth. And fainting goats. I think fainting goats are sad. <laughs> yes, they, they can absolutely be funny and make you laugh, sure. I get it. But um, those were bred that way. Like they, that's something that if, um, if nature worked like, you know, <laughs> if it was a survival of the fittest situation, those goats would not have survived, but they were bred that way. Just like hairless cats 
and there's some other breed of cat out there that's got like these little stubby legs and they just fall over all the time. They can't stand. And somebody bred them that way just so they could have their very own breed of cat. Um, very unnatural. Okay. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Oh, my whole arm in the wet paint. All right, I'm gonna get this mean little guy. Look at his little face, his eyes. He's got, um, he's got these yellow, yellow eyes. Let's do those next. Well, maybe not quite that yellow. Let's do this, okay. Get some yellow around there. And if I can get some of the red to show through, then I won't have to add any other colors. But I'll get those big yellow eyes in. Just looking down at you while you're laying on the ground, like, gonna get up, gonna get up, gonna headbutt you over again. You know that's what he's thinking. That's what they all think. All right, now I can get some other colors in there. I have this little teeny tiny brush. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh well. Featherless chickens, do they make that? I mean, grow that, breed that. <laughs> Is that a thing? Well, I've got some lights and I've got some darks. I'm kind of sort of following along with um, the photo here. I just want to get my lights and darks in the same place anyway. <laughs> and this, this uh, goat ear hair. weird bug eye. <laughs> Not that I did it wrong. They just have weird bug eyes. Okay, so what color should we do on that nose? Should it be like a medium color here? So should it be maybe a light blue? Right around here? Maybe. Why not? Yeah, I like that color. Okay, and then I'll go back to the white again. Still a little blue on the brush, so it's probably going to tint a little bit, and that is just fine. And come back down here into this little, oh, no, I guess I'm gonna do the side of the head. So here is my plan with this. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do this as one video or two videos. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to do this as one video. One video and two paintings of the same goat, one in watercolor, one in acrylic. This is the acrylic, of course. Um, the watercolor I do have pre-sketched out, so it shouldn't take too long for the switchover. So I should be able to, once this 10 minutes is up, which is about um, th three minutes ago, then yeah, I gotta hurry this, what the heck. So once this 10 minutes is up, then I should be able to fairly quickly switch over to the other one. Oh, boy. More white. Those eyes kill me. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna put some red around them. Like right down in here. Kind of highlight the weird boogie-ness of those eyes. Maybe one of these days I'll also learn to not paint the background first because then it's a guarantee I'm gonna stick my hand in it. That kind of gives him a little bit of crazy eyes, doesn't he? Like mean crazy eyes, like he's coming for you. 
stand up, I dare ya. <laughs> that's kind of what, that's what he's thinking. Oh, I don't really want pink. No, I'm gonna go back to white, white and yellow. Or green or whatever color it turned now. Okay, I'll add some a little bit light color on those eyes. This guy's just getting weirder and weirder looking. So my thinking on this was that if I can if I can make this goat look cute, I can do anything. And um, well, <laughs> he's colorful anyway. I don't know that I'd go so far as to say cute. That's okay. Uh, all right, so I need to be done with this goat. I'll maybe add a little like weird chin hairs. He's already got those eyes, so I'm gonna let that go. Hmm. You know, I don't think it's hopeless. I don't think it's hopeless. I just think it needs a little bit of refining. But since we are now 16 minutes in, it's not going to get much refining, so. Throw in some spots of color here and there. Get that teal in there because it's all over the background. Better should probably be on the goat's face too. Somewhere or another. Maybe down here on the neck. No, I got a lot of color there. Okay. Right on his goatee smile. And a little on this ear. And done. Okay, moving on. So now I'm switching over. 16 minutes in, I'm switching over to the other painting. So I'm putting all my acrylic stuff away. Keep that picture of the goat out. Have to take my mic off for a second. How am I doing for the quick switch over? About two minutes? Well, it was kind of quick. All right, so I have different brushes, different water, which I have set aside here somewhere. Okay, so new water, new sketch. I'll have to zoom out a little for this one, I think. All right. So same goat, that little guy up there, this little guy right here. And then this is my color guide this time. So I really like this splashy, colorful, fun look. I really like this otter. The bunny's cute too, but he's a little too faded, I think. I like this bold color here. Um, oh, that one's nice, that one's good. That looks like it would be good colors in a goat. I like the turquoise and the the purple there. Oh, I don't have any purple paint, so well, let's see what we can how close we can get to that. All right, the bunny is the winner. And then I just have my goat reference sitting nearby. And get out my brushes. Yesterday I was just using studio supplies instead of my own supplies. Today I brought some of my own paints and brushes, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> Okay, that's probably enough. And 
test out the old spritzer bottle. I'm just spritzing some random water drops on this um, because I wouldn't want them to be too perfect. Well, let me see here. Looking for a way to prop this up. I guess I don't have a roll of tape handy, so eraser will have to do. Little bit hazardous around here. I now have um, wet paint all over the place. Like I have painting set aside, I have palette set aside. Like literally anywhere I look, I could stick my elbow in some wet paint right now. All right, so I'll get these colors activated. Should have done that a while ago. All right, so some colors that I have here today are, I'm not sure yet which ones I'll use entirely, but I have some turquoises. These are all turquoise, that's a blue, dark blue. Um, red, blue, yellow, these are new colors that I just got today. If you want more specifics, I can probably put them in the comments, but more turquoises, some, some bright cad hues, reds, red variations, some cool reds, um, a nice uh, transparent yellow, and then some random yellow. Well, I guess that's kind of a purple, but. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna start with my fluffy brush. Fluffy yet random. I guess I don't need purple, I can do. As long as I have enough blue here. That's a lovely color. So I'll just mix up, make sure I have a little bit of purple there. Okay. And then I also wanna have kind of like a nice brownish color. He's got some spots of red, spots of, I think the brown color is going to be, ooh, look at that. Did you see that? <laughs> I mix up that purple and then drop quinacridone gold in it. And quinacridone gold is the queen of the party. Pushes every other color out of the way. Okay, so that I don't want to go too overboard on for that reason. So, kill it down with a little of this. I forget what yellow. A real one? Probably that. And warm it up a little with some Let's see, let's do one of those cads. Because that's how you kill a Quinn, is with a cad. <laughs> that is gonna need to die. Okay, so here is going to be my bunny color. Yeah, that calmed down quite a bit. All right, so now I need a new purple. Perfect. And I know you probably can't see this here. I'm mixing it off over to the side. Let's see if I can maybe zoom out a little bit more. If that helps. I can get rid of that weird goat <laughs> that's up at the top of the screen too, if that helps. We're not, we don't really need it right now. All right, so let's just go ahead and drop some color in. So I know I've got some dark areas here. Oh, hold that brush out a little further. Let's see, and this is going to be my light color, so I don't go too crazy there. Keep a paper towel handy in case I need to undo. This is a little bit green here, isn't it? So last time we did a watercolor, was that yesterday? Anyway, that last watercolor that we did kind of got, um, well, I was just using the studio supplies and it, I didn't really, I mean, it went okay, but. Yeah, and I'm going to do more skies. That's actually the reason I wanted to do watercolor today because uh, it's, watercolor is pretty fun. Okay, I want that darker, but mm, let's try some of these new colors. This new blue, maybe. Ooh, wow, that's a pretty color, isn't it? A little bit thicker. This is manganese blue hue. Wow, I like that color. Let's put it everywhere. that down here on the chin too. Ch 
chin or neck or whatever that thing is below the head. <laughs> You're following me, right? Maybe a little bit more red on that. Spot or two. Starting to get fun looking. Let's see, we can do some light spots in the ears, I think. A couple of different purples in here. This is um, cobalt violet. I don't want to do anything that has too much detail quite yet, just because I, I know I've splattered water all over there already. So in any time that I hit a drop of that water, the paint kind of bleeds out into that drop. So I don't want to do that on the eye. And I'm just changing up my color here a little bit every time I go back to the palette, just getting a slightly different color, just to keep some variety in there. And I think I do, I don't, I think I like how, so here's back to my color reference again, this bunny, how it doesn't have a lot going on in the background, but it just has some messy edges. So I think I'm going to try to, even though the ears are light and the background is dark on the original goat, I think I'm going to just color the goat and leave the background kind of nice and splattery. Maybe some more of that blue. Maybe less of that blue. <laughs> okay, so I'll come over here and let's see, where's my, I'm gonna get, see if I can get kind of a little bit of a yellowy color. It's not too muddy, I hope. I'll drop some of that purple in. All right, my splatters are beginning to dry a little bit, so now I can get a little closer to the eyes. There, he's got kind of a dark spot up here. Maybe I do want turquoise in that. Why would I not want turquoise in that? It's kind of turning turquoise anyway. That yellow and that blue, that manganese blue. It's manganese blue and a real and yellow, I think are turning the turquoise. This ear, I'm going to try it a little bit differently. I'll try to fill some of it in with water first. And then drop a little color in. Let's see, I can get this. Let's go with some more of that blue and some more of this blue. So we get kind of a purpley, dark bluey purpley. color. So I haven't, I have this new red over here that I haven't tried. This is, it's quinacridone coral. Just got it today. Just put it in my palette for the first time. Let's see what that color can do. Ooh, that adds a zing. Let's some, add some of that zing around those eyes and we can get some good old crazy eyes going on this guy. I mean, we're supposed to be making them cute, right? Okay, we'll give them cute eyes. <laughs> That's what I meant, cute eyes. Not 
That's a pretty powerful color. Holy cow. That is bright. Go back to a little bit of blue in there. So now I have a new shade of purple. Mm. Okay, I'll let that be. On to the nose. All right, I'll get a little bit of a dark area. Uh, kind of just right around, actually, why don't I try this? So this is a trick that Ken Call does, and you can look him up, he's a watercolor artist, where he takes one just like glob of color, he just goes bloop, big old glob of color. I think I want a little more red in that next time. Maybe a little more blue. Okay, big glob of color. And then, takes a different brush and then just kind of blends it out, like with a thirsty brush. By thirsty brush, I mean a brush that has been made damp and then dried. All right, well, Ken's a great artist, however, that's just way too fussy. <laughs> I'm way more into this throwing paint uh, throwing paint at the paper style. Here's a new yellow. This is the new yellow I just got that whose name I've entirely forgotten. Bismuth? Bismuth yellow? That, I bet that's it. Okay, and now I want to get some darks, but first... There, I'll try some dull colors. I think my ear over here is way bright. That's got all those new colors that are amazingly bright, way bright. Um, too bright. So I'm trying to dull it down there. Yes, I want colorful, but the kind of colorful that doesn't hurt your eyes too much <laughs> would be the best way to have it. Let's see. I like the old blue. The old blue is uh, Antwerp blue. And it's kind of a darker one, but it gets really, it's dark and it's transparent. Okay, get those horns. Maybe add a touch of color to them if I can. Of course I can. They look stripey. Better fix that. Don't want stripes on his horn. That's not the kind of goat he is. All right, so I'm going to have to come up with some darks to go down in here. Maybe, maybe that'll be that green. I got a new green too. It's um, Viridian? Viridian green. Which is a color that I've used with oil paints many, many years ago, um, but I haven't used it since, so. And watercolors and oils aren't the same. So it's probably going to behave differently than what I remember. It's that bright, bright red again. color down here, right above that nose. Okay, what do you think? Is it looking like a goat? A little bit, maybe? So 
So I want just kind of a light color. Maybe I can do something a little more on the orangey side. I'll take that new bismuth yellow and then some alizarin crimson. Those seem to go pretty well together. They're both nice transparent colors. And All right, I'm gonna put down this big brush and switch to something else. So I know I'm going to have to have some sort of a color in those eyes there. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's going to be quinacridone gold because it's a beautiful color. And it'll pretty much glow and take over. Um, just wanna get that a little colored in. I'll do those squares later. So now are those vibrant enough? No, let's take some a little more green, drop it in right over there. Maybe over here on this eye. Maybe take some more of that blue. And so how much are, oh, <laughs> 36 minutes in, what the heck? That's not a 10 minute painting. Changing the colors a little bit as I go. Fade out some of these edges. Yeah, I think I'll take that nice dark purple that I was working with earlier. Kind of do a couple of spots up here. And I'll have to get really, really dark again on that nose because that really lightened up again. So I have to just make sure that the dark parts are dark enough. So that should be lighter. All right, so I better lighten that back up. All right, I can do some little dark around, kind of around that ear. I don't want to go overboard. Um, change up the color. You go cool colors over here. If I do a little more of that, like up around this horn, oh, more red. Don't want to let the color get boring. Don't want to get too involved in details either. I like that blue. Maybe I can carry that over here. That's a fun, crazy color. Let's try some drops of purple in there. Maybe. Maybe drops of that quinacridone coral in there. That's a bright, bright color. Let's see, so he's got kind of a darker area right down in here. Maybe I can do that with some blues and greens. Maybe a little bit of some reds.
give it a scribble. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, he's got some details up in here that I'm totally missing. So right up here next to his ear, there should be a dark area. Even darker than that, I think. Seeing right above his eye. I think I can kind of close this in a little bit over here. Just have a mess of color over there. I'm just using whatever color I feel like. All right, and then I'll maybe take some more of that blue right up in here, because he's got a darker area up here. Just try to make it a little bit darker. detail over here on his other ear. I know, I know, my 10 minutes are up. But now I'm getting all hung up in the details, darn it. Exactly what I didn't want to do. Well, that's okay. Okay. Now I've got a couple of, uh, I think before I get to those eyes even, I think I'm going to do more of the background. I'm kind of liking how this background is turning out. I like the darks against those horns because the horns are so light. So much for not doing a background at all, huh? So I'll take, let's see, I had that red and that manganese blue. Kind of made a nice dark purple. So many purples. Go with a little more red, go with a little more blue. Like I said, you don't want to let the color get boring. Now I'll just go back to the more blue, more blue. Give it a good scribble so we don't have any hard edges. And maybe, maybe I can get those purples to connect so where he comes up on, by this ear. I think we're gonna need some more yellow in there. Oh, look at that, powerful. I like it. Okay, any other details we need on that goat? I think he needs a darker, like right down in here, a little more dark. A little up in here. It's his other smile, his other smile. <laughs> the other side of his smile. Okay, it's time to punch in those eyes, those, those little uh, sideways slits of eyes. They have like little rectangle pupils <laughs> so when you're laying on the ground after you've been head butted over by one of these mean little goats and he's standing over you looking at you with his weird rectangle eyes daring you to get back up again so he can knock you down again that's what they do
How's that looking? Let's see, we're talking about 45 minutes now, so I best be, uh, best be wrapping this up. I feel like I could probably paint this one for a while. So um, I'm gonna stop, 45 minutes is long enough. And then I can take a look at these again tomorrow and see if I like them or not and go from there. So, hey guys, thanks for hanging out. I know it was kind of a long painting today and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for the thumbs up.